Uh, today I'm going to be showing you uh, a couple of different tools that I use and the, the benefits of buying the right tool for the job, right tool for you. So we're going to look at uh, just removing wheel nuts and the reason why I'm picking wheel nuts is because that's quite a tough bolt to actually remove, quite a tough nut to remove. Um, so they can require a lot of force. So let's work with that one. A, the first thing is identify what you've got here, which is the 19 millimeter uh, wheel nut. We've got these black impact driver sockets, which I'm using there, designed for impact. I'll be using an impact gun later on. Uh, so if you're gonna buy one socket set, uh, my suggestion is to go for the hex type with the impact ability so that later on, if you do decide to get an impact driver, then you can get an impact driver. So this is a half inch side size, which is to do with this aspect here, which is a half inch, and it fits onto this half inch square. So the first thing I'm going to use to remove this is just this, uh, it's about what, uh, what, 18 inches long. Uh, I'm going to use that. I'm going to show you how much effort I have to put in. So make sure it's nice and tight today on there. I'm going to put a wee bit of effort down and that tightens it up a little bit, okay, and then backwards, okay, to loosen it. So I tighten it in order to break it, break the uh, contact a little bit and then loosen it. So it's the other way around. So you can feel that can be done quite easily with that. Now, I'm not going to tighten it up actually just now. I'm just going to leave it a little bit loose, but you saw that one come out quite easily. Um, if you're, if you're a, a, a smaller person or if you don't have enough power, then you can use one of these longer ones. And I think this is about 24 inches or 36 inches long, three feet long. So that will give you a lot more torque. Uh, but what you will find that if you're, if it's a lot of torque, then this bar can flex and it can become a dangerous weapon if it fractures. So you want to be very careful when using this not to smash your teeth or uh, because it can bounce. Be careful with that. Impact drivers wise, we're going to go back to these... Uh, different types of impact drivers so over here I've got one from Clark is the 24 volt um, unit so 24 volts can give you an indication of the amount of power that the battery can deliver because the equation is uh, power is equal to current times voltage uh, so of course with more voltage then theoretically you're gonna get more power however that power has to be sent over into a motor so you get these at various different prices this is one of the cheaper end ones uh, and what I'm going to do again is a half inch and I've kept it a half inch because all my tools will fit onto a half inch okay there it goes in nice and secured over here you'll see that I've got eye protection we use eye protection just in case something fractures uh, something just spins off and because it's an impact driver these things here although they're designed for impacts will eventually potentially succumb to uh, the constant impacts and that's because a uh, metal uh, can fatigue uh, just some things like that. Now you've also got these uh, sound protectors because if you're doing this a lot of times you want to protect your ears uh, you don't want to damage your ears just because you're working in a car. So I'm going to pop these on. So just give me a second whilst I pop these on. Okay and that's me all protected up and I'm going to use I'm going to insert it into this one and I'm going to put it on reverse. Okay so reverse. You don't need to go forward with this one and I'm going to remove it. Okay, you can see it's having a little bit of struggle and there it goes. And that's it now loose. When it's loose, it's easier. When you're tightening, you don't tighten with the impact driver because you can just go a little bit tight, but don't tighten it because you have another tool for tightening your bolts. And I'm going to show you what that is, which is this here, which is the torque wrench. So the torque wrench comes with small uh, the ability to adjust the amount of torque when it reaches the torque setting then it will click and I'll show you that when I'm putting them back on again because as I said I'm just removing these off for demonstration so with the Clark you can see that there was a little bit of a struggle with it um, but it managed to do the job now that's not always the case so what I do when I'm doing when I'm using the Clark what I will do is I will break it off with the breaker bar and then I'll use the, uh, the uh, Clark impact driver just to remove it very quickly off so you can spin it off but as I said you can't spin it on tight onto the bolts the one thing that I don't like is that when you've got like a set of five bolts maybe three of them will struggle to be removed with the with the uh, with the Clark so that's why I'm now 
put in a what I call a belt and braces and I just go straight to the straight to the breaker bar uh, just to avoid uh, disappointment having to pick one instrument up put it down so now we're going to move on to this uh, Makita now this one you can see it's a five it delivers uh, five amp hours 18 volts uh, but look at the size of the engine on this one this model itself is the DTW1002 you get another one called the DT1001 which is a three quarter inch uh, head and that can be used for if you have that drill so this will travel exceptionally fast uh, so you do want to be careful and you do want to brace yourself when using uh, items like this. So keep your finger, make sure you're in the left, uh, left reverse button is on. And here we go. And that's it off. So you can see how easy that actually did that. Um, very, very easily. And that, I've not found a bolt that this can't remove as yet uh, on this car. When using impact drivers also, you have to bear in mind it's a lot of power going through these. So you want to use it on bolts which are of good quality size and the impact drivers will tell you uh, in their instructions what size of bolts you can use them on so you don't want to use them on small bolts uh, because all that will happen is that you will possibly break the break the the, the bolt right off or the shear or something off and it's just going to be a disaster for you so what we're going to do now is tighten these bolts okay using the using the uh, torque wrench and you'll hear it clicking through and we're listening for we're listening for a one click as it gives way so you can see we just push it in there you go there's a click okay we go diagonally opposite to the next one I just want to check that as well these ones have not been touched so I know that that will be fine gonna do the next one that I loosened off there we go, diagonally opposite, the next one which I'm going to just tighten up, okay diagonally opposite to the next one, you can see I'm holding it there just to allow it to get a little bit of grip. So my conclusion from this is if you're going to buy something, now when I'm doing this, I'm doing this a lot of times actually, I should have just tightened up because the torque wrench is not to be used for general tightening. So let me just hand tighten it. Okay, there we go. I'm just pushing it down. Okay, so my conclusion from this is that uh, when you're deciding to purchase something, purchase something worthwhile, uh, buy it once. Don't uh, wait for disappointment to arrive. So, as I said, this one has, I think it's about a 450 Newton uh, nut busting uh, capability so it can move uh, bolts up to that and this one has um, I believe a 1600 nut busting uh, capability however it doesn't work for nut tightening because as I said you don't want to tighten a nut with an impact driver you can either shear the, the stud or you're going to fracture something but you do not want to be doing that um, so what, what would I recommend here go for the one which you're going to keep uh, yes, it's a little bit more expensive, better to save up and get this uh, Makita as opposed to getting the Clark and then having a whole range of different batteries. Because one of the problems here is also uh, this battery here can be interchanged within different units. Much more expensive, this one's about 200 and this one uh, you can buy now, well I think it was about £80 when I purchased it. Guys, I hope that uh, has been useful for you. Um, it's not a groundbreaking uh, video but it's actually a nice video just to show you my different thoughts on things. And remember, if you haven't got if you haven't got the money for these, uh, you can always look at the look at your power strength uh, and go for either the two foot long or the 18 inch long uh, breaker bar or the three the three foot long breaker bar just to make life easier. Thank you so much, and I hope you've enjoyed that video.